All right, how are you doing today? Today we're taking a look at Logic 11.2 Stem Splitter. Nice update, some really cool stuff you can do with this. A lot of updates in Logic Pro. Check out my other videos. I got a video on just producing a whole song using Logic Stock plugins. I got a bunch of free plugins you can check out, paid for plugins, all kind of stuff on my channel that you might want to check out. So please do subscribe. You know the deal. Uh, let's check this thing out though. Let's just get right into here. So we come down here, we have the Stem Splitter. We have many new options here. We could do just acapella if we want, so we don't have to bounce out everything. We have vocal, drums, bass, guitar, piano, and other, whereas before it was bass, drum, guitars, and other. Uh, but now you can separate the piano as well. We can have, make some mixes, get some presets here just for the instrumental. Then you can check the submix settings, just everything but the vocal, if you will. Vocals and instrumental. Vocal instrumental drums, uh, separate all stems. That's what we want to do here. So we just have all these. We just hit apply, creates our little summing stack, mutes this main channel all together here. So before. Magic moments happen all the time. Who are we to be denied? Go back to the all the stem splitting, see what that sounds like. So very nice, even makes the little icons and everything, <laughs> keeps everything nice in a track stack folder. So you got all your stems there, then you get your vocals. Magic moments happen all the time. Who are we to be denied? Drums. Now one thing is, we don't have a drum splitter. I have another program that I use for that. I'll show you that in a second. I made some other videos on it. I'll show you briefly here in a second. But, you know, maybe it will come eventually. Maybe it won't. We don't know. This is just an update that have they have now. We got the bass. Got the guitar. We got the piano. I wonder what's on the other here that's interesting. I don't know. Oh, sound effects probably. No, that's just some strange artifacts, effects from the other instruments. But it's in there, and I guess we can mute it. Magic moments happen all the time. Who are we to be denied? They really don't miss it. Maybe it's kind of like a resonance. <laughs> that's like some frequencies you might want to get rid of. Who knows? Yeah, that's one of the effects on, the, I think, the piano. Yeah, there's an effect on the piano. You barely notice it's gone, but anyways, it's there. So that's pretty cool. And that's just a quick demo of the new stem splitter. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, obviously, in my opinion, we could do some more here uh, with the drums, especially. I have another program called Rebeat here that I use as a third party plugin for the drums. You just record your drum track in here. And then you have a track of just drums, the kick drum, for example. Moments happen all the time. Who are we to be denied? And with this program, you can go over here to settings, show the stems, and put those in your DAW as WAV files as well, or just play it in the plugin. So that's something that would be cool if Logic added. It's not there net yet. However, if you have Logic, this is a free stem splitter. You don't have to spend any extra money. So if it's something that's useful to you, here it is. I honestly don't use it that much, but it could be cool for just if you want to learn some songs, you know, throw some MP3s in there, jam along with guitar, whatever you play, drums, whatever, um, in that form. And also dissecting some music productions to see what's going on under the hood of different songs. So, or making acapellas if you're a DJ or whatever, I don't know, but yeah. So that's it. New update and logic point or point 11.2. Check out my other videos. I got some of the other new features I'll be making videos for if they're not already out. That is all for now and I will talk to you soon.